Welcome to uh, Faye Cooper Cole Hall here at Northern Illinois University. My name is Brad Hoy. I'm the uh, Director of Communications and Marketing here at Northern Illinois University. Today is indeed a very special day for NIU, our students, our faculty, our alumni and friends, and of course our local community. A few weeks ago, Faye Cooper Cole Hall officially reopened its doors, welcoming students and faculty to a new semester here on the NIU campus. What students discovered as they entered this building for the first time in nearly four years was a state-of-the-art learning and teaching emporium, a facility completely transformed from its former state. The amenities and technology resources contained in Jameson Auditorium and the Collaboratory Classroom are as advanced and as innovative as any teaching and learning environment in the country. Today we celebrate the grand opening of the third jewel of this, uh, or the third component of this jewel, new jewel on the NIU campus for education, the new Anthropology Museum. I know a number of the individuals that are here today have come a long way and have a long history with the Department of Anthropology here at NIU. You've traveled a great distance and we thank you for joining us here uh, as a part of this very special ceremony. I'd like to take a moment to recognize some of the university leadership and dignitaries who are here with us today. First, our members of the NIU Board of Trustees, Chair Sherilyn Muir, John Butler, Wheeler Coleman, Judge Anthony Iosco, Mark Strauss, and student trustee Jamin Robertson. We also have several legislators here with us uh, this afternoon. We have Congressman Don Manzullo from the 16th District, State Senator from the 35th District, Christine Johnson, and our State Representative from the 70th District, Bob Pritchard. At this time, I'd like to introduce Chair of the Northern Illinois University Board of Trustees, Sherilyn Muir. This was made just for me, I want you to know that. <laughs> it's true. Good afternoon. Welcome to this beautiful Faye Cooper Cole Hall. Thank you for coming to celebrate this building and the rebirth and the grand opening of the Anthropological Museum. As Brad said, my name is Sherilyn Muir. I'm a proud alum first, and I'm also chairman of the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University. You know, for me, it's quite a juxtaposition to have been chairman of the board four years ago during this tragedy, and now today during this momentous occasion. There is such depth in this rededication. We are always delighted to open a new academic building, but this one has particular significance. There is a sorrow that will always remain. There is a consciousness that is prevalent. But there is also joyousness to be able to dedicate a building in memory of education, in memory of going forward, and in memory of those who were here that faithful day, but they were here to pursue an education. The history of this building is etched in the fiber of what was and will continue to be NIU. Our five students leave us with a legacy of determination and that is what defines the NIU spirit. Our president, John Peters, has led this campus with unwavering strength and compassion for 12 years. Dr. Peters refused to let the single act of violence define us. Instead, what does define us is commitment to excellence, commitment to our students, and commitment to the future of higher education. Dr. Peters 
is a man of strong moral conviction. And it, it is with this honor that I introduce you to the man who continues to guide us along our common journey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our president, our friend, Dr. John G. Peters. Thank you. How do I get one of those? I mean, that is, uh, that was part of the Cole Hall renovation. Well, thank you, my good friend and uh, our uh, chairman of our board, Sherilyn Muir, for those, those words. And thank you, uh, members of the Board of Trustees. So many of you are here today, uh, members of our, uh, uh, our students. I, so many faculty are, are here and so many faculty who have come back for this who have retired or gone their way to other things. It's good to see you again. And I saw uh, many of our elected officials here today and I see uh, many first responders uh, who are here that day. And I see uh, members of the families, uh, the parents of, of our victims, many are here today. Uh, and I, uh, that's just, it's just fantastic uh, uh, that we can come together almost four years ago uh, to the day when that tragedy took place. But today is a very special day for NIU and uh, we are obviously all excited about it. This semester marks the end of a journey in the transformation of Faye Cooper uh, Cole Hall. Four years ago uh, was such a difficult time for NIU and for our, our community. And after, uh, after uh, in the early hours and days of that event when I toured Cole Hall, I was not sure that we could ever open uh, this educational facility again for students and faculty and for learning to take place. I was not sure um, at all, but in the way that we do things at NIU, we conducted uh, extensive discussions and surveys. You know, we study everything. Uh, <laughs> We, we study everything a lot before we make a decision. And we involved everyone, the community. We asked students, we asked alumni, faculty, friends, um, any of those, those six people who keep blogging on the DeKalb Chronicle. <laughs> um, we collected over 5,000 uh, responses, and they're just not, you know, yes or no or do this, do that, but they were thoughtful suggestions about how we could go forward. And from that, we came with a plan and a resolve overwhelmingly that we supported and wanted the restoration of Coal Hall. Uh, and we wanted it to return it to a premier educational uh, uh, facility, and that's what we're, we're, we have done, and that's what we're celebrating today. It is, to me, a demonstration of the will and the commitment to continue even in the face of adversity and tragedy. The mark, I think, you know, speaking anthropologically, uh, of a great group of people who want to make progress. So uh, believe me, it was no small challenge in securing funding from the state for this renovation. That was something. Uh, <laughs> and I'll, it'll be in my book someday. <laughs> but, you know, after all, we were in a recession this 2008, and it isn't as if there wasn't, you know, a lot of people with important capital projects uh, before us and ahead of us. And yet, uh, we did receive the appropriation, $10 million. $6 million went into this building, and $4 million will go into a uh, a classroom very similar to the uh, Jameson that will be attached to Stevens. Um, and we're, we, as you can see, we make every dollar work. The state should be very proud 
uh, and feel confident that when NIU spends a dollar, it's for the right, spent the right way efficiently and for the right purpose. Uh, and uh, even though Governor Quinn could not be with us today, and I did see him personally on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, and we talked about this, uh, and he had an, another commitment uh, that he had. It, it, uh, we couldn't have done it without Governor Quinn. He immediately supported it. Uh, and so, therefore, I want to pause and offer my gratitude to Governor Quinn on behalf of NIU and the DeKalb community for his unwavering support. And this is also true of many of the local legislators that you're going to hear from uh, in, a, in a little bit. Uh, this is a place that now offers top flight resources to, to help Illinois college students learn. Um, uh, furthermore, I am so gratified at the number of people, NIU people and our consultants, who have put so much thought and energy and love into repurposing of this building. I've watched it over the years. And I, I want to call out in particular two individuals, uh, uh, Dr. Fred uh, Suantes, I don't know if Frederick is here. Frederick uh, prefers to work behind the scenes uh, and cause me a lot of trouble sometimes, but man, he gets it right. And his boss, Ray Alden, Provost Alden, thank you for the, uh, the, the, um, your knowledge of pedagogy and how, what we needed to cram into this place. And uh, the other person is uh, Mr. Jeff Dower, who I know is here. Jeff's standing right back there. And, and his boss, uh, Dr. Eddie, Eddie Williams, for uh, on, the, uh, on the technical, on the program side, what they've done. Um, I, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that that beautiful opening up for the Anthropology Museum the glass created, and you look at this side and what they had to work with, um, this was in part Jeff's idea. So anthropologists, make sure you thank Jeff Dower for that. Great. <laughs> and on the back of your program, there's a list of the, of the design and consulting team, the, uh, you know, the contractors who really carried this out and did it at uh, very efficient cost and on time. Uh, and on budget, and some of them are here today, and make sure you, you, you thank them if you, if you meet them. So the NIU community made a wise decision in choosing to renovate Cole Hall. Everyone that I've spoken with, and many of you today, who has toured this building is thrilled and proud to be a part of its uh, future. The reconfiguration blends magnificently if you step out and as you walk out. It blends magnificently with the Memorial Garden. It's just a natural, beautiful flow that's in the front entrance. And of course, uh, uh, technology um, is, is visible uh, in this building as well. The, it's, it's infused in the tremendous classroom and the museum space and the collaboratorium. Um, it's, I think it's only fitting that uh, this NIU's architecturally impressive new anthropology museum is now located in a building named for a famous anthropologist, Faye Cooper Cole. What a better place for us to observe and study the history of humanity that at a university and what better university to do it at than NIU that has such a long and distinguished history of uh, anthropological research and study. So anthropologists, I'm so pleased that you have space that you can be proud of uh, for your students and, and for your collections and for your research and teaching going forward. Uh, Cole Hall honors our history, a history we never would have written for ourselves. We would not have written this, we not chose to do that. It serves as a tribute to our husky spirit of forward, together, forward. This new facility serves as a vibrant demonstration of the critical importance that technology plays in enriching the classroom experience. It is, uh, it is already enhancing the already sophisticated uh, 
reper instructional repertoire that our uh, inspiring professors bring to NIU. Uh, and it really does enhance the manner in which students today learn individually and uh, collaboratively. And so today we move forward again, together forward, knowing that we have restored, that we have renovated, and we have revitalized this hallowed space. We've made it better. And now it is a place to honor the accomplishments, the courage, the spirit, the collaboration, and the pride and inspire learning today for our leaders of tomorrow. And so I invite each one of you to explore the new Cole Hall. I know you will feel the same sense of pride and remembrance that I do. While many of the students who experienced the tragedy that took place here in 2008 have now graduated, and some are, many are back today, uh, they have moved forward. Thousands of new Huskies begin their studies here each year. And just a few weeks ago, the doors to Cole Hall reopened, students flooded in, and the education and the learning began anew. This is, as Sherilyn said, this is our way of honoring the memories of our precious Huskies lost on February 14, 2008 by creating a legacy of teaching and learning and excellence. So, thank you, each and every one of you, for coming today. And now let us all continue to always move forward together, forward. God bless you all. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, our provost of Northern Illinois University, Mr. Ray Alden. Thank you. I'd like to add my words of welcome to uh, the Faye Co Cooper Cole Hall, the new Cole Hall. Historically, this building has been one of NIU's most frequently used and most recognized facilities because it's used for all of our large uh, general education classes. Classes represent a common experience for all of our majors. And so this, this is maybe the only academic building where almost all of our students have at least some experience in this classroom facility. In researching how to create the best possible interactive experience within the new Cole Hall, we explored the top models around the country, and I think we approved on them. And you'll see some of those improvements as you tour today. We envision a setting where students learn not only through lectures and textbooks, but all through, also through online activities, visual presentations, and collaborative efforts. We know this blended learning approach enhances students' knowledge, students' success, and critical thinking skills. We also know the group interaction encourages students to put learned concept into practice, what we are talking about in terms of engaged learning. Both visually and technologically impressive, the renovated Cole Hall provides students with a modern environment designed in every aspect to maximize educational experience. The building houses three unique settings that President Peters mentions and these each will enhance the student's experience in their own way. First of all, the Anthropology Museum, which we are opening today, is a centerpiece that will allow our anthropology department to have a venue to cycle through exhibits from their very extensive collection. For a long time, we only had small opportunities to show small exhibits and now we have uh, an ability to welcome not only our students but scholars and the community at like to these kinds of events where we can show off their true assets. 
The Jamison Auditorium fulfills a critical need on campus for a technologically enriched large classroom. It's our largest classroom, as, as I had mentioned. But this will allow also flexibility of breaking out into small groups. So we have the best of both worlds. Finally, the classroom we are calling the Collaboratorium or the Collaborative Classroom, it has a pod design that allows people to work in small groups, and it has a 21st century philosophy. I just returned from a national general education uh, uh, conference, and there was discussions about how we need to transform education in this country. And there was a lot of talk about technologically mediated learning and how we need to engage students with their faculty and with each other and engage them in their own academic success. I think with this facility, we don't have to talk about it. We're actually doing it. So I think we're kind of setting the trend. And we no doubt will be a blueprint for others to see how we can uh, help in the design of the future of the 21st century education. It took a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of work by, by a lot of people, and, and we've acknowledged many of these today. But it stands as a testament to our resolve, a symbol for our vision for the future, a, a campus crown jewel, and as uh, John mentioned, it is the academic embodiment of the forward, together the forward spirit. So thank you very much. When we talked, it's been a, it's a great day for Northern Illinois University and obviously a very big day for the Department of Anthropology and the Anthropology Museum. So at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Kendall Thu, who will talk a little bit about uh, uh, the Chair of Anthropology and talk a little bit about uh, what it means to the department. Dr. Thu. Thank you, Brad. Uh, Chair Muir. Uh, members of the Board of Trustees, President Peters, Provost Alden, elected officials, students and faculty, and members of the NIU community, community and the community at large, and some special guests who have joined us from far and wide, uh, thank you for joining us here today. Um, it is truly an honor for me to be a part of today's Cole Hall Open House, and a particular ple pleasure to participate in today's official opening of this spectacular new facility. NIU's Anthropology Museum. I want to say a, a few brief words about the museum, what it stands for, and then briefly acknowledge a few people, past and present, who made this gorgeous facility and, and the ex exhibitions you see possible. What is an anthropology museum? It's a good question. An anthropology mu museum is a place and a space where we, reflect, where we reflect on what it means to be human, past and present, in order to consider our future. Each artifact, each photograph, contains a story about who we are, where we come from, and the environment in which we live in order to, in, in order to challenge and engage us in imagining the future. And I think that is a fitting tribute, an enduring tribute, to the tragedy we endured four years ago. The museum today uh, highlights two spectacular traveling exhibits, as well as selected artifacts from our own collection. The first is the, is the Touch the Sky photographic exhibit of the Mid Mid Midwestern Prairie by world-renowned National Geographic photographer Jim Brandenburg. And that exhibit comes to us via support of Dr. Reed Scherer and the Institute for the Study of the Environment, Sustainability, and Energy, one of the new programs at NIU. Thank you for your sponsorship. The second is the Korean Mask exhibit brought to us by our colleague, Professor Kathy Foley. Kathy, where are you? Right here. Kathy. Kathy joins us all the way from UC Santa Cruz. Uh, she was here earlier in the week to help put the, the exhibit up. Uh, I, I'm sure you're going to enjoy both exhibits as well as selected samples from our 12,000 plus artifacts in our own collection. I want to say a special thanks to Sarah Fonkuch. Sarah, where are you? Back in the middle there. Sarah is our interim museum director and she had the responsibility of setting up the entire exhibit and design and putting up with all my emails and texts uh, trying to figure out whether things were going to get done. So congratulations, Sarah. Well done. So this museum and the opening ex exhibits are the result of a lot of hard work and planning. But someone, at some point in time, 
had to have the original idea for putting a, a, an anthropology museum in Cole Hall. Somebody at some time had to say, well, what about or what if we did this? Um, these individuals are with us today and deserve special recognition. And they are my colleague, Dr. Judy Ledgerwood. Judy, are you here? And the former museum director, Ann Wright Parsons. Ann, are you here? They were, they were the ones with the uh, original idea. But this museum, and indeed our anthropology program, would not be here if not for the rich legacy of past faculty and staff. As you can see from the photo out in the entryway, uh, Margaret Mead came to NIU in 1978 uh, to celebrate the opening of one of our exhibits. Uh, and we are fortunate today to have a number of our other distinguished former NIU faculty and staff join us from near and far to help celebrate today's opening. And I want to acknowledge each very briefly. And this, by the way, is in, in chronological order of when they were here. <laughs> so uh, my colleague, Dr. Cecil Brown, and his wife, Pamela, are here. Cecil. <laughs> also my former tennis playing partner. Uh, they flew all the way from their retirement home in Pensacola. Uh, Cecil and his, and his wife, Pamela, are both em, uh, employees at NIU. Cecil was a faculty member in the anthropology department for 32 years. Before, before retiring as Distinguished Research Professor Emeritus in 2002. He was also Chair of the Department from 1981 to 1987. Welcome back, Pamela and Cecil. Milt Deemer and uh, his wife Kim drove all the way from New Mexico. Milt and Kim, back here. You must get along pretty well if you can drive all the way from New Mexico here. <laughs> Milt was the museum director for 22 years, from 1979 to 2001. Besides being the consummate museum professional, Milt was widely recognized for his, his ability to build, exhibit, and repair just about anything in the museum. And those are particularly critical skills in maintaining and, showing, and showcasing a museum in the Stevens Building, which I think many of you can appreciate. Welcome back, Milt and Kim. Dr. Clark Larson. Dr. Larson was a member of... Dr. Larson was a member of the NIU Anthropology faculty from 1983 to 89. He was also the chair of the department from 1987 to 89. He was the executive director of the museum and worked closely with Milt on a number of exhibitions and other museum activities. In 1989, he joined Ohio State University's anthropology department where he's currently a distinguished professor of social and behavioral sciences and chair. Welcome back, Clark. <laughs> Dr. William Fash, Bill, where are you? and his wife have joined us. Uh, Bill was a faculty member of the anthropology department from 1984 to 1994. He also served as the executive director of the museum and for reasons that elude me, he accepted a position at Harvard University when he left NIU <laughs> where he is currently the Charles P. Bowditch Professor of Central American and Mexican Archaeology and Ethnology and just as of uh, I guess last summer stepped down as director of Harvard's Peabody Museum. So Bill and your wife, a th uh, thank you for coming and welcome. There are a couple of uh, more familiar faces maybe to m many of you. Uh, Drs. Fred and Maria Smith, where are you? Over here. <laughs> Both came to NIU in 1990 when Fred became chair of the department, which is where he stayed until becoming the associate dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Uh, and as I understand it, Fred was the very first faculty member to hold both the pre presidential research professorship and the presidential teaching professorship. Uh, so welcome back, Fred and Maria. Uh, Fred and Maria currently at Illinois State University. Welcome. <laughs> Finally, joining us all the way from Puerto Rico uh, is our former museum director, Ann Wright Parsons. Ann, where are you? As I mentioned before, she had the original idea for... The original idea for building the museum here, uh, she was director from 2002 to 2010. She took passionate care of the museum and the collections, and she forged new exhibits and found new funding streams for, to, to, to support the museum with grants from the DeKalb Community Foundation, the Illinois Humanities Council, and the Luce Foundations. Thank you all for returning to NIU. It's your legacy that makes our program and this museum possible. I think the fact that all of you have come back also reflects an enduring kindred spirit with NIU. The idea of, 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 a of a museum is just that until someone somewhere listens to it and says, that's a good idea. 
When Judy and Ann advocated for the idea, our administration listened. That's the way a university should work, right? <laughs> so I want, to, I want to thank the Board of Trustees, President Peters, Provost Alden, uh, Dr. Schwantes, and Jeff Dower. Jeff, let's do the Stevens building next, okay? <laughs> uh, for listening to the idea and acting on it. And I also want to extend a, a special thanks to Dean Chris McCord uh, for his oftentimes uh, unheralded behind-the-scenes support for our program and for the museum. And finally, I want to thank my colleagues, students, and staff in the department for all their support and work, as well as our colleagues from the Logan Museum in Beloit. Are you here? Anywhere? Uh, for helping us out. Thanks for coming. Um, while the name is the Anthropology Museum, this, this museum belongs to all of us, all of us in the NIU and larger community. It will constantly change with new exhibits and ideas from throughout the NIU community and beyond. So don't think that because you're here today and you've seen the museum that you've seen it all. Please come back and see us again. There's much more to come. Thank you and enjoy the museum. Thank you, Dr. Thu. We mentioned that we have uh, several federal and state legislators here with us this afternoon. At this time, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce to you our uh, Congressman from the 16th Congressional District, Representative Don Manzullo. Well, thank you very much. What a, what a great opportunity to be here. Uh, anthropology is the study of beginnings, drawing together threads of time. Uh, today is another chapter of new beginnings. I am one of the co-founders and co-chairs of the National Archives Caucus of the House of Representatives. I started for the purpose of preserving original documents and obtaining knowledge by looking at the original documents themselves. The legacy and the memory of lost lives of our students obviously will never leave us. But today is a new beginning in the life of NIU as we, as we reopen Cole Hall. New beginnings means that we look to the past so we know where we're going in the future. A new journey begins, propelled by the Husky spirit, with the continuous goal of the legacy of excellence in education. At one time, knowledge was discovered. Today, knowledge is both discovered and invented which means we need new types of facilities to pass that knowledge and wisdom onto the young scholars that come through these halls. Perhaps the weeping prophet himself said it better than anybody, for today indeed, mourning has turned into joy. Thank you, Congressman Manzullo. At this time, I'd like to have our state senator from the 35th District, Christine Johnson. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for having me here today. Um, members of the Board of Trustees, President Peters, faculty, staff, students. Um, you know, today we're all Huskies, and we have been for the past four years. And as a graduate of NIU, um, I know what it means to be a Husky. Huskies are strong and they're intelligent and they're loyal. And today, in reopening this building, we're demonstrating that strength, both as a university and as a leader in the academic world. It takes a strong student body and a university community to band together and to say, we're not going to let the events of the past weaken our spirit or to slow the education that is creating the leaders of our future. NAU Huskies are also intelligent. Northern Illinois University is at the forefront of innovation and technology. This new high-tech learning center will add even more opportunities for an already strong academic foundation. The collaborative classroom, the new anthropology museum, and Jameson's auditorium will only enhance the quality of education here at NIU. Finally, the NIU Huskies are loyal. They're loyal to their values, they're loyal to their goals, and they're loyal to one another. 
They know the best way to honor these loyalties is to excel here at school and they, so that they can show the world the vision and the values that NIU has instilled in them. We will never forget what happened here four years ago. But as the Husky Fight song, which has been quoted several times today, said, for a forward, together forward, and we must press on. There is victory in view, and you're seeing it here today. We must make this building not a sad reminder of the past, but a proud symbol that demonstrates that we are looking together forward to a better future. I'm very proud to be standing here today as an alumna of a school that responded to a situation by repurposing this facility that will bring so many opportunities for the future of this university and all that attend it. Again, thank you for coming today. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you. I look forward to moving forward, together forward, with all of you. And of course, we have our state representative from the 70th district here with us this afternoon, Mr. Bob Pritchard. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to join you here at this rededication of a wonderful building that has been the heart of our study of anthropology and human relationships since 1968. It was my pleasure to serve this area and this district since 2004. During that time, we've had a lot of joys, a lot of sadness, but also a lot of thoughtful progress. Back in 2008, as President Peters has already mentioned, there was a lot of thought from Springfield that we ought to demolish this building. And thankfully, this community came together and showed Springfield a better way, where we pulled together our ideas, where we pulled together our love, if you will, of anthropology and history, to know that we can't erase the past, but we must move forward with that understanding and try to improve personal relationships. We also had a better idea. The thought right away in 2008 before the collapse of our economy was to build a new building for $40 million. As you've already heard, we did it for much less. And I think the product shows that it's every bit as good as what that $40 million might have accomplished. But as we today as a society look forward to the problems that we have here in Illinois and how we solve those problems, we need to draw upon this community gathering that uh, helped bring forth this idea of renovation of Cole Hall and look at renovating our state by building up in a collaborative effort by all of us chipping in with our best ideas and hard work. You know, one of the interesting points of, of this Cole Hall is the history that it represents. And I didn't know that we had in this booklet today, but if you look back at Faye Cooper Cole, this building was named after her because she was one of the premiers in modern anthropology. She visited this campus and, of course, as a part of, of uh, the University of Chicago, played a major role in the anthropology understanding of the time and the teaching of anthropology, and even gave testimony at the Scopes trial in, in the 1930s. So we come with an understanding of history, with a long tradition of trying to work together, and I think this building is a fine tribute to those efforts. We will all keep working together with the spirit of Northern Illinois University and the wisdom that you've shown us this day. Thank you. Thank you, Bob, and, and thanks to all of you to make the, uh, for making this day very, very special, uh, for taking time out of your afternoon on a, uh, on a seasonal Sunday afternoon. And, uh, of course, those of you who came uh, so long and have a very special place in your heart for Northern Illinois University, enjoy the remainder of the afternoon. We have a few more minutes with the open house. Uh, we have some food still left out there. So thanks again for coming, and uh, go Huskies.